plugin. Now let's consider a system with a permanent magnet and a source. For example, we selected a loudspeaker. Its coil with the current oscillates in the magnetic field of a parent magnet, so that the oscillations transfer to the diaphragm attached to the coil. Let's solve simplified version with direct current in the coil. Problem type is magnet aesthetics. On replace is axisymmetric and it's called speaker. That's a geometry. External boundary with the A equals to zero property. Also, we have the block box. That's an air. Of course, burn belt equals to zero. Oh, sorry, equals to one. That's a coil. We set total amp returns for the field source. That's a magnet with the magnitude of gas force. And that's a frame. You can see that its magnetic properties are nonlinear. Let's you fill the picture. Our aim is to calculate the force acting on the coil. It's a force directed to the left as you can see from the direction and sign of the horizontal component. By the way, we could be interested in calculation of the conductance. Inductance is the ratio between the magnetic flux and the current. That's formula. Inductance depends on geometry and the medium magnetic properties. So we should take the frame situation into account conditioned by the parent magnets. I'm going to show you color map of flux density. As you can see, the values are pretty big. And also, I'm going to show you permeability color map. A 
as you can see, the values are different in the different parts of the frame. Means that the frame is saturated. That's a five three one. That's a seven nine seven. So they differ from one another. It means that we can't just exclude the magnet because to calculate the self inductance of a coil we should take into account only the coil magnetic field. To calculate the inductance we will use the dance technique of a magnetic state input. It's possible to couple to magnetic problem. In the first problem, we calculated the media state, the magnetic permeability. And then, we transfer the magnetic state to the second problem. And in the second problem, we will calculate magnetic flux induced by the coil. Here is the second problem. There, as I said before, there are no sources except the coil. Let's check it. Because the force of the magnet equals to zero. Wow. The field source is the coil. The total amplitudes for the coil remains the same as for the previous problem. And I want to show you how to make a data link and the problem properties. I press on button links. And here we can see a data link for the magnetic state. That's here. Let's take a look at that solution. Well, we may calculate it again. That's a magnetic field picture. Let's show color map. Now the magnetic field is very weak to compare with the previous example on a previous problem. But as for the permeability color map, that's the same. Now we can calculate the inductance of the coil using tort magnetic field energy approach. I select the coil. No, no, I shouldn't select the coil. For convenience, we may use a inductance wizard. I can use one of the approaches. I'd like to use stored energy approach. We calculate the stored energy. 
we select the source and the calculation is ready. That's the value of inductance. We display it here. 